Thank you for tuning in to today's session on why we need quantum resistant cryptography now. My name is Jamie Willett and I am a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Before we begin, for those who aren't familiar with Encryption Consulting, we are an established data protection consulting practice that covers all aspects of the data protection landscape, such as encryption, data security, key management, and privacy. We help clients in understanding and implementing cybersecurity as per their threat landscape. All right, with introductions out of the way, let's dive into our discussion today. Today's discussion topic is, is it really necessary to transition to quantum resistant cryptography right now? Today's video's primary focus will be on the discussion topic of whether there is a high requirement of transitioning to quantum resistant cryptography immediately or not. We shall discuss about the security concerns at the national security level and key threats due to rapid adoption of quantum computing. Then we will have a brief discussion on strategies that can be employed for transitioning to quantum resistant cryptography. Finally, we will have a peek into the challenges that companies might face. For years, complex codes have kept our online world safe. But a new kind of computer, the quantum computer, is on the rise. These superpowered machines could potentially crack the codes that currently protect our data, like online accounts, financial information, and medical records. Imagine a master lock that's been unbreakable for decades. Suddenly, a new tool emerges that could potentially snap it open with ease. That's the threat quantum computers pose to traditional encryption algorithms, the mathematical formula that scrambles and protects our data in transit. This presentation explores the emerging challenges facing cryptography and introduces a solution called quantum resistant cryptography or QRC. We'll look into why QRC is crucial and how it safeguards our information in the age of quantum computing. We'll discuss First, why it's crucial to invest in QRC solutions now as opposed to waiting for later. We'll explore how quantum computing could impact national security, and we'll discuss the strategies organizations can adopt to transition to QRC, as well as some of the challenges they might face along the way. By the end of the video, you'll be equipped with a clear understanding of QRC and its importance in securing our digital world in the quantum age. In this section, we'll focus in to the profound implications of quantum computing advancements for national security. As quantum computers continue to evolve, they pose unprecedented challenges to our current cryptographic systems, threatening the integrity of sensitive information. This poses a great threat to national security. These powerful machines have the potential to crack the codes that currently safeguard our most sensitive information. This could leave classified data, communication channels, and critical infrastructure vulnerable. This can be a major driver to focus on transitioning to quantum resistant cryptography. Let's now understand the key points. First, why is QRC crucial for national security? Vulnerable encryption and cracking the codes of national security. Imagine a vault holding our nation's most critical secrets, classified documents, military communications, and sensitive infrastructure data. For years, these secrets have been protected by complex encryption methods, acting as an unbreakable lock on the vault's door. However, the rise of quantum computers poses a chilling threat. These powerful machines utilize the strange laws of quantum mechanics to potentially crack these encryption codes with ease. If quantum computers succeed in breaking current encryption, this secure vault could be left wide open. Sensitive information could be exposed, jeopardizing national security efforts, military operations, and even the safety of our citizens. So what preemptive measures should we take? National security agencies can't afford to wait for quantum computers to become a reality before taking action. A proactive approach is crucial to defend against this emerging threat. This means investing in research and development of quantum resistant cryptography. QRC is a new generation of encryption specifically designed to withstand the power of quantum computers. By developing these new encryption methods now, we can ensure a smoother transition and reduce the risk of a security gap. We can also work on conducting vulnerability assessments. 
National security agencies need to identify critical systems and the data most at risk from quantum computing advancements. This allows for prioritizing resources and focusing efforts on the most vulnerable areas. Finally, developing contingency plans. Even with proactive measures, there's a chance quantum computing may advance faster than anticipated. Having contingency plans in place allows for a swift and effective response to potential breaches of classified information. Finally, we need to focus on how we can safeguard sensitive information by building a quantum resistant future. The ultimate goal is to create a robust security infrastructure that can withstand the challenges of the quantum age. This requires implementing QRC solutions across national security systems. Replacing current encryption methods with quantum resistant alternatives is essential to safeguard classified information and communication channels. We also need collaboration between government agencies and the private sector. National security concerns don't exist in a vacuum. Collaboration with technology companies and research institutions is vital for sharing expertise and accelerating the development and deployment of QRC solutions. Continuous monitoring and adaptation. The field of quantum computing is constantly evolving. Therefore, we need this continuous monitoring and adaptation in order to adapt to new threats as they emerge. By addressing these national security concerns, we can mitigate the risks posed by quantum computing advancements and safeguard critical information and assets against potential breaches. With the advent of quantum computing, traditional cryptographic algorithms are at risk of being rendered insecure, posing significant threats to confidentiality and integrity of sensitive information. Quantum resistant cryptography offers a solution to these emerging threats by providing cryptographic primitives that remain secure against quantum attacks. Let's talk about these quantum attacks and how quantum computers can leverage various algorithms to compromise existing cryptography. Quantum computers can use a powerful algorithm called Shor's algorithm. This algorithm allows them to easily factor large numbers. A cornerstone of many encryption methods like RSA and ECC is that these large numbers cannot be factored. If a quantum computer can factor your encryption key, it can decrypt your data with ease. Grover's algorithm is another threat. This allows quantum computers to perform a type of super search that significantly speeds up the process of finding the right key to unlock encrypted information. This effectively reduces the strength of symmetric encryption algorithms, the workhorses for securing online communications and data storage. Think SSL. Now let's talk about quantum key distribution. While quantum resistant cryptography offers new encryption methods designed to withstand quantum attacks, even these solutions may not be completely secure. Potential vulnerabilities in implementation, side channel attacks, and advancements in quantum hacking techniques could still pose risks. So it's important that even with implementing these countermeasures that we're discussing, that your organization stays informed and prepared to change to a changing landscape. We need to take action now. By transitioning to quantum resistant cryptography, we can stay ahead of the curve and ensure continued security of our sensitive information in the quantum age. There are organizations across various sectors that are now focusing on transitioning to quantum resistant cryptography. There are six major steps involved in the transition, such as risk assessment, a phased approach, collaboration and standardization, training, and finally, continuous monitoring. Now let's go through each step and see what actually happens. Risk assessment is the first step. It involves a comprehensive risk analysis or assessment. We need to identify critical systems and data most vulnerable to quantum attacks. This allows us to prioritize the transition by focusing on these high-risk assets primarily and eventually spreading the security systems to other assets owned by the company. By understanding the level of exposure to quantum threats, we can allocate resources effectively. Next, we'll adopt a phased approach. Transitioning to QRC doesn't have to be disruptive. We can adopt a phased approach by starting with the most critical system and gradually expanding the scope. 
This minimizes disruption to ongoing operations while still protecting data that must be protected urgently. We can also focus on our collaborating and standardization practices. By collaborating with industry partners and standardization bodies, as well as regulatory authorities, we'll be able to develop and promote standardized quantum resistant cryptography algorithms, protocols, and foster interoperability between our existing and new systems. Next, you must focus on transitioning to QRC with a skilled workforce. This means training and skill development programs are an essential tool to equip your team with the expertise needed to effectively implement and manage these new encryption solutions. Investing in your employees and preparing them with this knowledge ensures that implementations will be done correctly and that you'll have the skills needed to navigate the QRC landscape. Finally, you'll need to implement some form of continuous monitoring and evaluation. By using your skilled workforce, you'll be able to have regular vulnerability assessments, penetration tests, and security audits. By staying vigilant and adapting to new threats, you can ensure that any new quantum threats that appear on the horizon are adequately prepared for. Now let's discuss some of the challenges your organization may face in transitioning to QRC. Even though the immediate solution to tackle the threat of quantum computing is quantum resistant cryptography, there are many challenges faced by organizations in implementing quantum resistant cryptography, as well as transitioning from their legacy encryption models to these newer models. Let's look at some of the major challenges that existing corporations have faced during transitions. Many organizations rely on legacy cryptography systems built with traditional but now vulnerable encryption. The challenge lies in integrating QRC solutions without disrupting these critical systems and ongoing operations. Upgrading legacy systems can be time consuming and require careful planning to minimize the downtime. Jumping right in is simply not an option in large scale production environments. Also, we have to consider resource constraints. Implementing QRC isn't just a technical feat. It requires resources, including technical expertise, time, and infrastructure upgrades. However, by prioritizing critical systems and exploring cost-effective solutions, organizations can make strategic investments in their future security. The transition to QRC produces a potential hurdle, ensuring seamless communication and data exchange across different systems. Legacy cryptographic systems may not be compatible with new QRC solutions, creating compatibility issues in heterogeneous environments. However, by adopting standardized QRC protocols and future-proofing system design with interoperability in mind, organizations can navigate this challenge and ensure smooth communication, even in a mixed technology landscape. Finally, a lack of awareness about quantum threats and QRC benefits can hinder a smooth transition. By raising awareness and educating stakeholders, organizations can empower them to actively participate, fostering a proactive approach to long-term data protection. It's not simply enough for only the technically minded of your organization to understand QRC and the quantum threat. It must be a team effort. In conclusion, the imperative for adopting quantum resistant cryptography solutions is underscored by the pressing need to address emerging threats posed by quantum computing advancements. Throughout the presentation, we've explored the critical role of QRC in safeguarding our information in the quantum age. We've explored the significance of QRC in mitigating the risks associated with quantum computing and emphasized the importance of transitioning to resilient cryptographic solutions. We've discussed how quantum computers pose a significant threat to national security by potentially compromising classified information. We have examined why traditional encryption methods are at risk of becoming obsolete with the power of quantum computers. And we've discussed strategies for transitioning to QRC, emphasizing the proactive assessment of cybersecurity 
and collaboration among stakeholders to ensure a seamless transition. And finally, we discussed the challenges associated with transitioning to QRC, including the complexity of integration and the need for standardized cryptographic protocols. This brings us to the end of the video. We hope that you have gained more information on QRC, and if you are looking for even further information, or you need assistance in an assessment or implementation of quantum cryptography, please reach out to info at encryptionconsulting.com and we will assist you. You can also reach us at encryptionconsulting.com slash contact us and leave a brief message. We will continue to post content relating to quantum computing and the quantum threat in the coming weeks, so please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you.